Hey guys, it's the Smickmeister here, and yes, I did just call myself that. Okay guys, in the last video we went over include, or pound include, and then whatever header file you decide to put in here. Next we're going to go over using namespace standard, or if you have the sense of humor of a middle school boy, STD. Ha ha! Anyways guys, <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and move on into it. I've got some visual representations for you t today guys. Uh, I'm not really going to be doing any coding. Uh, I just really want to make sure you guys understand what this is. Okay, so without further ado, let's move into it. Okay guys, so when we type this magic text into our C++ uh, code editor, we are really implementing what we call the standard namespace. And that's all you need to know. Okay, just kidding, I know that tells you nothing. So, what the heck is the standard name pace? namespace? Well, I'll tell you. But first, please understand that this is a very beginner-esque explanation. I'm simply making sure I cover all the bases so you can feel confident with some of your very first programs. Okay, I want you guys to imagine that you're looking at a bunch of different types of bacteria through a microscope, okay? So, you know, you're looking through the scope and you only have a limited point of view and you have all these different types of bacteria in here but the important thing to know is that nothing is coming in or out of your point of view okay this is fixed okay so that that kinda gives you an idea of what the namespace is in respects that instead of bacteria we have got all of this really complex code and it is within this scope okay uh, scope it's like a container and that is what we call the standard namespace well guys everything in here in the standard namespace is gonna be the standard C++ library alright and I want you guys to consider the C++ standard library as the holy book of C++ um, it's it's really what makes C++ C++ okay having all of this in a boundary in its own category is super important guys when we have the the most basic of basic fundamental code for the language of C++ it needs to be set aside and put into its own category and that's so that if we're ever you know writing our own program and something looks a little bit similar to some code that we've never seen in the C++ standard library um, our compiler is going to be able to recognize that code come into the standard namespace, check it out, and realize that, okay, he's kind of using something that is similar, but it's not the same. And that's not exactly how it works, but that's the basic idea. This, this is a boundary. This is a protector so that your compiler doesn't get confused and so that all of this stuff behind the scenes keeps running smoothly. You don't need to know this in depth. In fact, it would probably kind of beat you down and discourage you if as a beginner you really really tried to understand everything about this you know but I'm just trying to give you the general idea you know because without using standard namespace people would be sad because their code wouldn't run properly got it okay so one other thing that I want to talk about with using namespace standard is the fact that you actually don't have to put that at the top of your code but I highly recommend you do as a beginner. And a different option that you have is instead of putting using namespace std at the top, you actually type in front of any sort of command like c out or c in, you type in this. All you do is put std and two semicolons in front of whatever type of uh, function that you're borrowing from a header file. Okay, guys, like c out or c in. But I don't recommend you do this. There are a lot of people who might comment on this video and they have their reasons for um, actually typing out these three letters and the two semicolons each time. And you know, they're good reasons. But I just want you guys to use using namespace standard at the top of your code. So this is something that I had a hard time wrapping my head around when I was a beginner. So if you're still a little confused, seriously, don't worry about it. Like I said, I'm just trying to cover all the bases. I really do hope that this helped, though. Have a great day. Hit that subscribe button if you're liking what I'm putting out. 
It really helped me out. All right, see ya.